So I'm going to show you now how to use hot rollers. There are a hundred different ways that you can use hot rollers. Today I'm just going to show you a very modern, uh, practical way to use it. I will say, at this last season on the red carpet, everything that we saw almost was hot roller based. So just depending on how you lay out the hot rollers can give you either a vintage look, um, a really modern big sexy look, or a beachy wave, which is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be a little bit more beachy. I think this is very practical. One thing to keep in mind about hot rollers is it is still applying heat to the hair, but the level of heat is much lower than a curling iron. Um, and you'll get a more sustained curl. So if you have kind of finer, more limper hair, or super, super straight hair that doesn't hold curl, a hot roller will put a curl in almost anybody's hair. Uh, it's also really great for a textured hair. It can really smooth and define that curl. And it should last you all day. It's also very uh, movable. So if you touch your hair a lot, or if you're using the hot rollers as a base to do something else, like an updo or something, it can take a lot of brushing and moving around. So what we're gonna do is I've already prepped our model's hair using a light hold hairspray and a setting lotion. You do wanna give the hair a little bit of texture if it's super, super fine. Um, the hot rollers I'm using today come in two sizes. I like this, this is just a Conair brand because it's really compact and small, super easy to travel with. It's actually smaller than my blow dryer if you needed to bring a blow dryer or something. I'm gonna use both the small and the large ones so I could get a more natural appearance. These normally will come with a big clip on the top and I'll say sometimes I like the clips that come with them, sometimes I don't. So today I'm actually gonna use a hairpin to hold them into place. And a hairpin is just like a bobby pin, only it's open, as demonstrated by our model. Uh, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna grab one, and I'm gonna work on this kind of top section of the hair. I'm gonna take a, a section, brush it through with my hands, and then I'm going to actually apply the hot rollers today more like you would a curl with a curling iron. So I'm gonna start at kind of the top of the, the hot roller and I'm gonna wrap the hair down. You'll also notice that I'm starting a couple of inches off of the scalp. Traditionally we see hot rollers going all the way at the root and creating a lot of lift. But what you'll notice with hot rollers is you do get a great lift at the root, but really it's all about the body that's kind of in the middle and the end of the curl. So I'm gonna utilize that in a better way so because I've wrapped it from the top of the hair to the tip, the tip is right here, and I'm going to do one last turn into the head to hold that into place. And I'm gonna use a couple of hairpins, and I just place them in the side. I'm kind of crisscrossing them here so that they'll stay. And the, the curl will dangle a little bit, and that's fine. And I'll just move on to my next section. And you can see how I've left the bottom of the hair out. Okay, so I've just finished up doing the whole top section. Remember, I'm rolling them away from the face. So on this side, I'm rolling them this way. And on this side, again, away from our face. I'll just spin around so you can get a look. So you can see the curlers kind of dangle in place and look quite odd. That's fine. Nobody is seeing you right now except for you. So now I'm just gonna start at the bottom and do these ones. Now I'm gonna try to maintain a lot of her length. So I'm gonna go down really low to start these, but you're still gonna do the same thing. You're still gonna wrap it. So you can see there's a big space between this one and this one. None of the root is done. The root will be a little flatter, which is perfect. Um, and I'm just gonna continue on and do the whole underside just like this. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes, we're back. As you can see, things have kind of gotten a little bit disheveled, and that's perfectly okay. We're going for a beach look here, so perfection is not what we're going for. I'm gonna start at the very bottom, and I'm gonna just start removing my hairpins, and I'm just gonna carefully remove our curls, releasing them, and you can see that they've taken on a softer curl pattern than you would necessarily think of when you think of hot rollers. I love using hot rollers at home because they're pretty easy to put in there. And then you just get to, you know, do whatever for 20 minutes. You can go eat breakfast, you can do your makeup, 
whatever it is, the longer you leave them in, the cooler that they're able to get, the better and long, more long lasting the results are. So I'm just gonna continue to take these down and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've just finished releasing all of the hair rollers and you can see what it did is it put almost a curl kind of in the center of all of our curls. So kind of the more beachy look. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go through and mess that up. Because we don't want this too perfect. Great thing about hot rollers is you don't have to set them with anything. You don't have to add any more, any more hairspray or anything like that before you touch them. We actually want to kind of loosen them up and make them more natural. I'm going to take a little bit of a beach spray. And I'll have you just tilt your head to the side. And I'm going to spritz some of that on there too, just to amp up our beachiness. And then give it a little scrunch. Really loosen up those curls. That's how you're going to keep it really modern looking. You could finish the look with hairspray if you wanted it to last a little bit longer. But truly, the curl strength that you get from the hot roller is much stronger. So this is great then for your slightly wimpier textures, super fine, super straight, anything like that. Even sometimes super coarse hair has a hard time holding curl. So this is a great way to get a more lasting but very modern look of a beach wave. And that is how you use hot rollers.